Hey, we've got Bongo here from Poultry People. Entered a competition last week on the Trend Facebook page, and I won. All you have to do is enter and take a photograph of a picture, and this is what they've sent me. Ooh. Trend catalog. Nice. Great value router kits. And, oh, look at this. 12 piece router cutter starter set. I don't want to rip it. We see there a bit, a bit of light. Cool. Nice round over. A double flute, that's going to be useful. A big fat double flute, that's going to be really useful. B bit, they haven't used that so much. They're quite nice for putting nice edges on. Trimmer, double ogie, excellent stuff. So today we're going to be routing out that. Also routing a slot, so that's going to go in the there. Drill some holes through here, so then we can hang chisels through it. Excellent stuff, right? Thank you very much, Trend. Much appreciated. Oh, we'll uh, give these a good go round right about now. start this off with the v-bit we'll get as much outline as we can on the go and then see about using the, the smallest of the flutes god that is that's pretty big that it'll do for a few places but that's just too big so if you want to do a bit of carving you're still going to need to pick up a three mil flute from somewhere, really. Uh, I'm pretty sure trends do one. Shame that they don't include a small one as part of the kit. And they give you some bits here that you might not use so much. Anyway, it's gone in. Let's tighten it up and tighten it up good now, you hear? Ah, there we go. That should be enough. Okay, so get it to the wood. Move it down. Just touching, perhaps just a, what should we use, stick a nail underneath it maybe, have it the depth of a nail, lock it in place, let's see how we get on. Alright, it's cutting away quite nicely. It hasn't got the accuracy that the V groove bits that I normally use have, but the bottom of it's quite flatter and it's actually doing a really nice job of well chiseling it out really and leaving us quite a nice smooth bottom finished. I'm probably gonna be able to do all of this using this bit and I I won't switch it out, mainly because the, the bottom of it is quite flat and is and it's leaving quite a nice Quite a nice surface for me to burn into in a minute. Right, we're going to crack on then and just just. Do this thing.
Yeah, it's pretty decent. It's cutting all right. If we get, get some from this end, business end. Going through it quite smoothly. There we go, that's that's pretty much done to tell you the truth. Um what can I say? That bit's alright. I'll do those do those lines here. What I'm doing at the moment is <clears throat> I'm not going down all the way. I've actually got it tilted slightly upwards. So instead of using the depth stuff, I'm actually using just a physical depth stuff, which is my hand. To, to float it across and not make a line that's so deep or is that wide. Right, and that's that, that's it for the uh, for the carving of the face itself. Quite happy with that and ready to start uh, burning it in a minute. Still got this block to set in for that something that's going to be the rest for our handles. Something along those lines, really. A little bit lower down. To there. To there. Okay, so let's get a block lined up. Looks about right to me there. So we're just going to take out a little channel all the way along. And that's going to give us a nice slot for this piece of wood to go into. Let's set a square on it, line it up as best we can. Looks good to me, okay, simple. Oh, you piece of shit. Screw fixed pencils, waste of time stealing them. Let's choose a suitable bit. Now for this one I will use that one. We'll see how we get on. I'm not going to bother using a guide or anything or setting up a, a piece of wood to give me a straight edge to go to. There's absolutely no point in doing that. It's just a waste of time for everyone concerned. You want to make sure that your router is actually off while you're doing this sort of thing, while you're changing bits. Because you don't want to accidentally hit the start button and uh, get the get router going while you get your hands in it. Too much. 
just about an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch. What's that in a mil? Around about five mil. Five mil will do it. Lock it in place. That stop. Power on. We're ready to do it. Okay, keep it nice and steady. Not bad, but I'll take my sand this off a little bit and it'll fit in like a treat. I'm going to go and do that now. I'm going to come back and then I'm going to go glue it and screw it into place and all the rest of it. And I'm also going to trim it down. And there we go, really. It's that's done. Just got to screw that into place now. Put a bit of glue on there. Pretty good.
Pick a There we go, all done, all very nice, all very tasty. The bits worked quite well in doing my, oh, what's it called? Is it an ogi or something like that? And then use the bull nose bit to do this little slot here. The 90 degree V45 did a, did a fairly good job. Let's get right close in there. Get some, get some close ups on the go. Nice piece of oak. Turned out alright, turned out alright. It's a great little starter set if you're just getting yourself a router together. Everyone needs a fair few router bits. What I'm seeing a lot of now is people wanting to do a lot of carving, a lot more intricate work. Signs are really in this year in routing. People wanting to make various plaques and stuff like that. And what you don't get is these. I just had these in today, really nice small 60 degree V-bit and 3 mil single flute. <clears throat> if you want to do some sign carving, these are really useful. It'd be churlish of me to keep hold of this because I've already got a million routes of it. I've got loads of them already from sets that I've had in the past and stuff like that. So the best thing to do is pop the 3 mil and the V bit in there and we'll do a giveaway. Seems nice, doesn't it? Like, comment and be a subscriber and in about oh, two or three weeks time I'll do a, a giveaway uh, draw and give and send these off to you wherever you are in the world. I've done a few in the past now. Shouldn't cost me too much to send wherever you are. Better not be in Nova Scotia again. That was, quite, that was quite, a, quite an interesting one. If you don't want the bits because you've already got a load, then feel free to tell me. I also want people to use the bits. Oh no, it's a router, I'm so scared of it. Don't be scared of a router. Well, wear safety glasses when you're cutting stuff. So if this does snap off, you know, it, it doesn't bounce into your eyes. If it bounces into your hands or your face or anything, well, that's just the way it goes. And just, you know, that's gonna hurt a little, but it's not gonna kill you. Just protect your eyes. Eye protection, I'll get some eye protection on. These are good enough to, to, st to stop bits flying into your eyes. Okay, you can clamp your work down, you don't have to, you can just rest on it, okay? You can rest on it with your hands, wrists along those lines. Show the router a bit of respect, because it's not a toy, although it's a lot of fun to play with and all the rest of it. But don't be scared of a router. Clamp your wood down if you have to. But you don't have to. Just make sure it's, it's not going to go anywhere. Have the work in front of you. Don't work in, a, in an area where you're going to accidentally stamp on the lead or something like that. Bongo! Bongo approved! Look at that, look. That, that is a nice piece of work. Crack on. <laughs> oh, whisper butters. Thanks for watching.